Alright, how's it going guys? Welcome to Space Grunts Part 1. My name is System Z. This is a turn-based game that will be available on Steam in the next few weeks. It's being developed by Orange Pixel, who, if you don't know who that is, is the same developer who made Heroes of Loot, which was a really popular game, as well as Gunslugs 1 and 2. Uh, I've, I've been given the chance to play this game early for the next few weeks, so I hope you guys enjoy. I really enjoy it so far. I've had the chance to play it for about two days now, and <laughs> it's pretty addicting. Uh, so you have three characters right off the bat to work with. Captain, Strong Arm, and Tech Junkie. Now, looking at the stats here, I think Strong Arm's probably the better one. Uh, if you look up Space Grunt in the dictionary, it has his picture. <laughs> Less brain, more strength. A great character if you like to kill some aliens, which is what we're going to do today, is kill some aliens. We're going to kick some alien ass, man. So, the goal and the story behind the game is that you are on an alien planet. Thus, the whole Space Grunts thing. And uh, each level takes you further down. And each level, it's kind of like waves in a way. It's like a firefight style thing, but it's all randomly generated. And uh, you can get new weapons, health, armor, ammo, all that kind of stuff. And uh, the turn-based aspect of it is, as you hopefully have seen by now, whenever I move one, the enemies in the entire world around me updates as well. The same thing occurs whenever I shoot. Luckily, that guy didn't move towards me and try and eat me. <laughs> but uh, you can pick up health, just like I did there, smaller health. You can even blow up barrels. It's pretty cool. It's pretty dangerous. I suck at the game, though, so I don't expect it to be... Oh, what? That is so not good. Um, oh, that was good, though. At least I didn't die there. Uh, I don't have any ammo on my favorite gun, which means probably instantaneous death. So let's just hope for the best here. <laughs> No promises that I'll last any longer than five minutes, which is what he said, she said. Uh, shut up. <laughs> um, okay, root me on here. I'm going to try and get some ammo. Uh, er, this is not good. Maybe if I do that. Did I? Yeah, I damaged myself there. <laughs> That's how you're good. That's how you stay good at the game, is you uh, damage yourself like an idiot. That's what I apparently like to do every day. All right. Ah, I need it. Okay, four shells. Four plasma. I need shells. Is that shells? Eight shells. Good. We're getting somewhere now. Here we go. One frag. Uh, eight shells. Yes. Finally, replenishing ammo. That's what we wanted to do. And we are sure dominating the boxes. The aliens might be dominating me, but these crates, my friend, oh, they don't stand a chance. They don't. Neither does my character, unfortunately. He's probably going to die because he's under my command, which is never a good thing for video game characters. Everyone out there, beware. I am the game character d dominator. Not a good captain. <laughs> no, I have some faith in myself for once. I think I'm going to do good this round, hopefully. Uh, I don't know if I've said this already. <laughs> the farthest I've gotten is level 4. That was once. Now, to get to another level, you go through these beacons. As you can see, beacon activated. And now I'm here. Welcome. There's no welcome party for me. That's not good. A shot doubler. What does that do? Doubles your weapon shots. I probably should have, you know, at least assumed that by the name. Last five shots. Don't think we need it right now. So I think we'll, you know, avoid using it for now. Nothing behind the barrel. All right, this guy, this gentleman. They shoot back, which is kind of a bummer. Uh, the whole point of the game is to develop a cool strategy for getting around this whole turn-based aspect and not die and get as far as you can, which is, of course, the same thing for all games. Now the hard part is that whenever you move, you know, enemies are going all around you. You can get yourself trapped, which is never fun. And uh, now when you're, you know, in the very beginning of the game, it's not really that bad to die just because you didn't get far in the first place. But when you start getting real far down there, uh, like further in this episode if I last long, <laughs> uh, Fragger 2, bigger explosions, larger range. The Fragger 2 is every grunt's death. It's good means I won't be dying today, boys. I'm going to die. That was a complete lie. <laughs> um, but what was I saying? Oh, yeah. The farther you get, in fact, if I get far at all, even level 4 or something like that in this episode, you'll see what I'm talking about. But you focus. Okay. What is this guy doing? This is a touchy situation, actually. Move one. He'll shoot me and do that. There we go. That's how you do it. 
strategy. I lost one, but hey, I could have lost a lot more if I wasn't careful there. Um, okay, there's gonna be no one there. I see you moving around. Okay, eight shells, four plasma, and you're all dead. I'm winning the winner. Oh, that's cool. Whenever you walk past these things, they kind of go a peg. That's nice. All right, next room. But what I was trying to say, because, you know, I'm horrible at focusing when I'm playing games <laughs> that I have interest in. So that's what's going on here. Uh, but whenever I get farther in the game, you're going to see this. I'll start to focus and really plan out each move. And it, it reminds me of Sherlock Holmes a little bit, because, you know, that whole ability he has to basically stop time and, and analyze everything. I know he couldn't really do that, but in the movies, you you know what I mean. It's, it's, he, it's very <laughs> pointed out. Uh, that's kind of what you get to do here because you can plan out about every move. You just never know where the enemy's going to go. But uh, you, can, you can avoid as much as you can if you're really paying attention. So level 3, that's actually really cool for me, uh, Moonyard base. We're getting farther and farther. And as you can see, the further we get down, the scenery changes. Eventually we'll be in like a cave setting. Wow, this guy is not dying. Uh, well, now he's dead. My laser. My laser prevails all the time. There we go. Regeneration, uh, yes please. More boxes to destroy. Again, I'm the box dominator. Alright. And that is, oh, okay. I don't, oh, this is what I mean. I've gotten myself trapped. <laughs> but wasn't a problem, because again, my laser prevails. And destroys boxes with no problem. Alright, we're gonna just get my shotgun out and destroy that fellow. And I have the chance to go to level 4 already. I think I'm going to do that. <laughs> There's no need in sticking around and getting myself killed for as long as I need to. <laughs> so level 4. As you can see, we're now in like a tech base style thing. This is the outer moon base. This is where it gets serious. It's the farthest I've ever gotten. So <laughs> let's hope for the best here. Oh, there's fire. Hmm. Okay, that's not a good time. And that was a stupid thing for me to do as well. Ooh. Okay. Uh, no, don't walk into the fire. Alright. Um, what are these? Nothing. Okay. Man, I really like the textures for this game. It's pretty nice. Okay. How far can we get? <laughs> That's the question here. If we reach level 5, I I'm done. I, li I am fine with that. <laughs> I don't. If I die from there... Oh, is this a portal gun? No, it is not. I should have assumed that. <laughs> An X-Railer. Shoots out a much stronger electromagnet projectile doing damage to everything in its path. That sounds very fun, actually. I think... Uh, I'm not sure which gun probably uses that. Hopefully it's not this one. Um, oh, okay. That Now I get it. So up in the top left is where the ammo is, and on the top right shows the actual weapon. So that helps, actually, a lot. See, I've been playing for two days, and I just now got that. <laughs> All right, okay. Oh, that is nice. Yes, we have the lasers now. Oh, crap. This is, yep, that could have ended horribly. Probably nearly did. I was in the fire for myself. That's not fun. Uh, what is that? Nothing. Okay. Oh, health. Oh, that thing's going to, there's going to be a fire that happened. Oh, dang it. It happened. Okay, okay, okay. So that happened. The whole place caught on fire. Oh, it didn't destroy the health. That's very good, actually. Okay. Oh, I like this gun, because people can... I can get things from very far away. Uh, what do you want, bro? Are you here to rescue us? All the hallways are so dark. I'll trade you this for that. Um, I could probably go back. Let's see what that is. He, was it the shot double, or... You know what? I have two of them. We'll go for it. Yes, I will do that. So I don't know what the regeneration does. Uh, continuously regenerates health. How far am I? 12? I think I'm going to use that. No, wait a minute. Regenerates your health fully. We'll use that. There we go. Because I think the other one regenerates as you move. So that'll be useful. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> I didn't even need it. Shit, that sucks. Could have saved it. All because this room is filled with health. Okay. Uh, stinky situation. Oh, that's, oh, what is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, he's missing. Thank God. <laughs> Did I get him? Yes. Oh, that was the first time I've ever seen that. That. 
You know what? I probably should be saving this health because I can actually come back. So that's what we're going to do. All right. Oh, there we go. I have just zapped you, my friend. You had no chance of survival. All right. And once again, the crates are dominated. <laughs> so we're going to save the health for uh, I can come back to that. I'm actually getting really far. This is amazing. The first time that has ever happened for me. And it's just because I'm the crate dominator. They're hearing me. The crates are helping me. I'm going to use that to just replenish the health. Just because, you know, it's a small pack. Could use it to get it like one or two. Well, that guy just murdered himself. Uh, why did they just appear? That's not good. Is this like a room where they just generate on movement? There we go. Okay, I want to make sure I keep getting health for this. What is that? Need a data card. Okay. Perhaps we will find a data card. Okay. And you're out of the ballpark. All the boxes have been destroyed, as always. I don't even need to say it. You know what I'm going to say. Box detonator. Detonator? Dominator. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is it. No, it's not. Oh, man, I'm so nervous. You <laughs> can't even see me. I am extremely nervous right now. But you know what? At the same time, I'm not, because we have a good amount of health. This guy's running from me. Lame. Out of ammo? No, dude. Don't tell me I'm out of ammo right now. That is a big bummer. We'll get closer. That's fine. That's fine. He's going all the way over there anyway. Uh. Okay, okay. We're going to go get some health now. <laughs> yep, that's exactly what we're going to do. We have tons of health back at home. There we go. And I believe there's one in here as well. Look at that. Brand new. Is there any in here? Uh, oh gosh. We're going to get it. Screw it. Eight shells. One little health thingy down. That's not bad. It's just one health. Now watch me lose because of that very poor decision I just made. Oh, hello, friend. Um, is that level five? I see. Oh, okay, the hat. Uh, is it all catching on fire? I don't want to go in there if it is. Okay, we'll do that. This is it. We did it. Oh my god. Level five, cargo bay. If I die here, this is it. <laughs> And I'm perfectly happy with getting down this far. Oh, no. And watch me get as far as I can. I'm not going to be able to beat this record. Two hours later. Sorry about that. Interruptions. They're the best. <laughs> All right. So we left off level five. Level five. We're stuck in a corner. I think we can do it. Okay. There's one. There's... Oh, no. Okay. 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 We're going to use... Oh, wait. There's health over there. So, maybe... Okay, 17. Not bad. All right. There's not much going on in here. So, we're going to save it for... Okay. Never mind. There's actually a lot of enemies in here. They're <laughs> coming from above. I don't know what's going on. Okay. All right. Um. Oh, no. Nope. Okay. I'm running. Running. All right. We're going to get Super Gen. And as I move, it's going up, as you can see. So, that's really awesome. I need to remember that for next time. Oh, I could have used it much better than that, though. Because I still have some left over. That's good to know, though. Well, now I don't have any more. <laughs> I wasted it. <laughs> All right. Um, we're not going to destroy that alien bucket because I don't want to risk the chance of being too close. And this is where the fire happens. Oh, never mind. It didn't catch on fire. Cool. Uh, that guy's trapped in there, but I'm going to have to get in there eventually anyways, I'm sure. Health? Sure. I'll take it. Oh, uh, no. Oh, crap. I'm going to make a run for it. All right. This is probably where I should use that. And then we'll do that. That. Oh, no. Oh, uh, well. I'm going to go out with a bang. Level 5. You know what? That is just fine. I don't care. We made it. I was killed by an awesome uh, mommy spider. I, I'm sorry. The H's and M's are a little the same on this. So that's either Hahi <laughs> or mommy spider lasted. Uh, oh, wow. 1,364 turns and killed 105 monsters. It's not bad. Not bad at all. You know what? Look at the description. 
there should be a link to Space Grunts on Steam. It'll be available within the next few weeks, but if you're watching this in the future, go ahead and grab it now. You can see it's actually really fun. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and give away one of um, Orange Pixel's other games, Gunslugs 2. All you have to do to win this is comment and tell me what you think of this game. Uh, it can be good feedback, bad feedback, uh, any suggestions you'd have for it. And it's just so that it can ho hopefully help the developer with any features that should be added or suggestions or, you know, just general feedback. So if you want to win a copy of Gunslugs 2 on Steam, go ahead and leave a comment. And you know what? If you're feeling generous, throw a like. Uh, see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. <laughs>